Javier Gonzalez, who today announced that he is running for mayor of Santa Fe, and Javier with Occupy Santa Fe and Occupy New Mexico. I wanted to ask you about the corporate tax cut that passed the legislature this legislative session in March. Um, Santa Fe, New Mexican reported that it will cost Santa Fe $750,000 starting in 2015, then increasing to $1.5 million the next year, and even more following that. Uh, what do you think about that corporate tax cut? Well, look, first of all, um, I think it's important that we recognize in Santa Fe that we have a lot of challenges going forward. And one of the reasons why I'm running from there is for so that we can grow our economy, be able to grow the jobs in our community, because uh, the reality is that the money that's going to be coming from the state over the next few years as a result of this corporate tax cut uh, is going to lessen. And what it means is that we're going to have to be stronger fiscal managers to make sure that we don't impact city services, that we're able to grow jobs and, and help small businesses prosper so that we have more money that goes into the city coffers, that we're able to target tourism, uh, which is a clean industry, to, to grow it right here in Santa Fe. Uh, if we're able to do all that, I think that we're going to be able to get through the gaps that are going to be created um, and, and be able to continue to provide the services for the city. The Mayor Koss, again in that article that in the Santa Fe New Mexican, he said that Santa Fe will either have to cut services or raise taxes to address this gap. What do you, do you think you, either of those options will? I mean, look, for, for me, and, and I have tremendous respect for, for the mayor, and, and clearly he's, he's obviously talking at a point of, of time, uh, we're in a recession right now. I mean, we have to absorb the, the gap today. Uh, I think the city would have to confront those issues. I happen to believe that uh, going forward, that uh, we don't have to raise taxes, that we don't have to cut services. We have to grow our economy. We have to grow jobs in Santa Fe. We have to make sure that the middle class grows. What we've seen happen as a result of this recession is the middle class has actually shrunk. There's a separation between the earning income of the top 5% that live here in Santa Fe and everybody else. That needs to change. When we change that, when we're actually able to increase the level of income for average Santa Feans, that's going to mean more money into city coffers to help us fund some of the gaps that are taking place. And so my view is that we have to be proactive in the job creation. We have to have a spirit of entrepreneurship and, and innovation so that every Santa Fe gets to participate in this economy. When you were the Democratic Party chairman a few months ago, in response to that uh, bill that was passed literally in the last minutes of the legislative session, you said that it was a good thing, that it was comprehensive tax reform, and that you supported it, and you supported Speaker Martinez, who kind of pushed it through the House in the waning minutes of the session. Do you still believe that that was a positive bill? Look, I'm, I'm proud of every Democrat that serves in office every day. My job as chairman of the state party is to fight for Democrats who are fighting to fight for Santa Feans and for the rest of New Mexicans. That bill was a tough bill to negotiate. I think that there were some compromises that were made. You know, we were able to get the Breaking Bad legislation uh, through that will help the Santa Fe's film economy. There is the uh, tax fairness issue on the big box that was the loopholes that were able to be closed. Uh, look, at the end of the day, it wasn't the best bill that uh, that they could have passed, but nevertheless it did pass. And what we need to do right now as a city is to prepare for the future, and the only way we're going to get through it is to make sure that we have economic development in terms of Santa Fe. How does renewable energy fit into that? Is that part of your campaign, and do you think we need more renewable energy in Santa Fe? Look, I think we need a couple of areas to grow our economy. The first is to expand our film industry. It's a, it's a clean industry. It's a place where Santa Feans can actually partic participate in an average hourly salary that's over $30 an hour. I think we need to expand it so it's about pre-production as much as it's about production. And I think we need to have post-production. It means that we have to engage the schools and community colleges to develop certificates so that students can actually map their way into a film economy. The second area is that we have to become a leader in the green economy. Santa Fe, for its size, can actually lead the way when it's about reducing our carbon footprint, when it's about being able to uh, uh, reduce our energy consumption uh, by, by looking at creative ways to retrofit homes and businesses. And then I think we need to have those really honest discussions about how do we use solar and other renewable energy to take this uh, a percentage of our power consumption off grid. As a community, we can do it. Our values are right. We have the right drive to do it. Uh, and I think that when we do that, when we're able to have a very comprehensive approach to solving our economic uh, challenges that we have, that, that people will invest in our town through tourism or through job creation, and, and we'll be able to raise the uh, level of income for every cent, every cent of fan that's up there. Last question. There was a study that the city uh, sponsored 
that was done by New Energy Economy about municipalization of the energy utility. And that study concluded that it would be more affordable and that we could get more renewable energy through municipalization. Do you think the city should take over the, the utility? I think there's some steps that need to happen before that. I think everything needs to be on the table. But first, we need to, to, to engage the Public Regulation Commission if we need to try and find for a better legislation that allows for renewable energy to come into our portfolio, that allows for uh, off-grid uh, generation so that we can bring uh, that type of alternative energy into uh, our grid here in Santa Fe. I think we need to uh, look at state legislation and see what needs to be changed. I think there are a lot of things that we can do prior to the city taking on another utility that will help us meet some of our goals having some of our energy consumption from either on-site generation right here in our community or through being able to purchase it through renewable energy sources and through the existing grid. Thank you so much. Any final words? No. Thanks. Thanks for doing it.